Hello, I am Luos and in this video for the Impact Effects Pack, I'm going to explain the intended emitter workflow to create new and exciting effects. This is a quick explanation only to get you started. I'm just going to duplicate this emitter, which is empty, but it does have that 1 meter 80 high character in it. And then I'm going to go to the collections, and these are all the collections. I'm just going to pick a random one for now. So let's say I really like this star spark, number 8. And I want to use it for my own effect. I'm going to go back to that empty emitter that I have. I'm going to click on the magnifying glass. And then in the star spark collection, I can right click on the emitter I want to export. And just select emitter, export emitter. And now this effect is available in your new empty emitter particle system. So that's basically it. And now you can just go open the content browser. Find something in the collection that you like. For instance, uh, I made some new spirals. Let me just really quickly pick one. And yeah, I like that. Make sure that so nothing is uh, singled out. Go back to the particle impacts and press on the magnifying glass or just open your content browser and click on it. And go back to the collection, right mouse click, emitter, export emitter. And there you have it. Now that effect is available in here. So that's basically how I think the intended emitter workflow should be for this package. That way you can create all kinds of effects and I would really enjoy it if people start using it for all the for self-making effects instead of just using the base example ones. Alright, that's it. Take care.